We implore you, we beg you, on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. All the other religions of the world, what they say is, you follow our regimen, you pay, pray, and obey, you turn your prayer wheels and feed your idols and count your beads and do whatever you have to do. And if you do it enough, we're pretty sure you'll make it. No guarantees, though. A friend of ours, his father died, and the funeral was being held at the church that he had been a member of his whole lifetime. The priest got up to preach to us. He told us that this person was in heaven, and that was very encouraging. But then a little later in the message, he told us that we needed to pray for this man to help get him there. And then later on, well, the man was back in heaven. And then a little later on, it was good for us to, you know, provide some funds to help do some things to help this fellow get to heaven. And so it oscillated back and forth. So finally, at the end, I I went to the priest and I said, Sir, I'm not used to your program here and your religion, but could I ask you a question? Was that man in heaven or not? And he said, Well, to tell you the truth, we're really not sure. Wow. So I said, Well, now, sir, if you drop dead on the spot right now, where would you be? And he said with a little smile, well, to tell you the truth, I'm not, I'm not really sure either. Well, I said, I appreciate your honesty. You know, if I was standing at the curb and a, and a bus came along and on the front of the bus it said, I have no idea where I'm going, I wouldn't get on the bus. And I said, all these people here, they think you're the bus driver and they think you know where you're going seems to me the best thing you could do for those folks is get up next Sunday and say, listen, I'm sorry I've misled you. You think I know where I'm going? I have no idea. The best thing you can do is go out and start asking people till you find somebody that knows where they're going and find out how they know. That's the most important decision in your life. These people say, well, I hope so. You know what we're talking about here. This is forever. You don't get another shot at this. That's why it's so important to understand what God is saying here and to get it, right? God says, listen, if you receive my son tonight, if you believe what I say and receive him tonight, you will have it tonight. You can open up the package and try it out and find out if it's true. And if it isn't true, you become a missionary and tell the world it's a lie. I'll tell you, you'd be the first person. Paul says, that's why I'm not ashamed of the gospel, because it works every time. It's the power of God to salvation to everyone who believes. 